Hello and welcome everyone to Earth Sciences as CMA classes. Today in this video presentation we will learn about the calcite type of glass of hexagonal crystal system. The calcite type can be obtained by studying typical form belonging to its type. The form we select for this purpose is rhombohedron. We can see this figure. This can be represented by three pairs of a rhomb shaped faces as it looks like like it is a pushed over cube if you fix a cube one face and now give a shear stress on it the shape it is going to take is in fact will be the rhomb shape so now we will look for the symmetry elements in this rhomb so we have three planes of symmetry and these planes are in fact a vertical diagonal planes which passes midway between the horizontal crystallographic axes and now if we see the axis of symmetry we have four axes of symmetry out of which we have one vertical crystallographic axis which represents three fold axis of symmetry means if you are going to rotate the symbol uh, for 360 degree you are going to observe similar feature for thrice Similarly, if you observe the three horizontal axes, they represent the two-fold axis of symmetry. And because the faces, edges, etc. of this rhombohedron occur in pair on opposite side of a central point, so this also causes a center of symmetry. So now we will study the forms present in the calcite class. So the very first form is rhombohedron. Rhombohedron is consists of six alike faces which are of rhomb shape. The C axis joins the two solid angles formed by the obtuse angles of the rhomb faces and the horizontal axis joins middle of the pairs of opposite edges. In the reading position, therefore, the rhombohedron shows three faces above and three faces below. From the figure, it is clear that upper front face intersects the A1 axis at a certain distance and it is parallel to A2 axis. It also cuts the A3 axis at a negative distance equal to that of the intercept of the A1 axis and it also cuts the C axis at different distance. That's why you can write this general symbol as H0 H bar L because it cuts A1 axis at certain distance parallel to A2 and cuts the A3 axis at the similar distance but on negative intercept and C axis at different distance. So now you can see the general form of rhombohedron. It is clear from the figure that there are a number of rhombohedra possible for any given mineral. So rhombohedra which are flatter than unit form they have general symbols like 1 not 1 bar 2 and the rhombohedra which are steeper than the unit form, they have symbols like 2 not 2 bar 1 or 3 not 3 bar 2 etc. The second form in calcite type is a sclenohedron. A sclenohedron is consists of a solid bounded by 12 faces. Each face is in fact a sclen triangle. The each face cuts all the three crystallographic excesses which are horizontal and also the fourth vertical crystallographic axis and these cuts all the excesses at different lengths so we can write the formula as H K I L and we have a general form of example 2 1 3 bar 1 which is represented in this particular diagram. Now we will study the common calcite type of minerals which includes the calcite. So calcite occur in various combinations of prism and display a number of varied habits as we can see in this diagram. This uh, display a common crystal as shown in this figure and it consists of prism that is one not one bar not. Also as a sclenohedron like two one three bar 1 etc. So this calcite shows a sclenohedral form consists of 
2, 1, 3 bar, 1. Siderite. Siderite occurs in rhombohedra, the faces of which are sometimes curved. So this is the siderite. Corundum and hematite also belong to the calcite type of class. So now we will look into the comparison of symmetry types in hexagonal crystal system. So there are beryl type, calcite type, tourmaline type and quartz type. In beryl type we have seven plane of symmetry, we have seven axis of symmetry and a center of symmetry. In calcite type we have three plane of symmetry and four axis of symmetry and a center of symmetry. In tourmaline type we have plane of symmetry in which there are three diagonal plane symmetry and we have one axis of threefold symmetry and there is no center of symmetry in tourmaline type. And in quartz type we have no plane of symmetry but we have four axis of symmetry out of which three are two fold axes and one is three fold axes and there is no center of symmetry in quartz type and these are the forms present in various types like in varyl type, in calcite type, in tourmaline type and in quartz type. Now we can compare the symmetry and different type of classes from this diagram. In varyl type we have seven plane of symmetry and out of which we have four axial plane symmetry and three diagonal plane symmetry and we have seven axis of symmetry in which six two-fold axes are there and one six-fold axis is there. And in calcite type we can see we have uh, three plane of symmetry which are three diagonal planes and we have four axis of symmetry out of which three are two-fold axis and one is three-fold axis and there is a center of symmetry. In tourmaline type we can see that there are three planes of symmetry which are diagonal planes and there is one axis of threefold symmetry and there is no center of symmetry and of course in the quartz type we can see there is no plane of symmetry and there are four axes of symmetry in which three are twofold axes and one is threefold axis and there is no center of symmetry. These are the references which have been utilized in preparation of this lecture. If you have liked this lecture, please like the video and to get updates from this channel, please subscribe to Earth Science Asimath classes. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.